Hey, Wang, it's a private S&M club. Don't tell them you're Jewish, okay? All right. Yeah, it's like we're... Then, All right, so you, the guy goes back. She whips the lady's butt more, and then and what I, Well, because I leave, because I didn't... So you're supposed to me. hang out so you could talk to this lady. That doesn't a part of you, the single Daryl Wright, who likes women, obviously, yeah. and your part, you got vodka time, I'm sure. Isn't a part of you, you personally, yeah. going, Man, I'm going to fuck the shit out of this bitch with the whip. Like it I'm gonna make I'm gonna make her submissive. Like she's making that. Like doesn't that turn you on? It would have been until they recognize me. And then you're like, ah, oh, you now ruined you the can, illusion. Yeah, I thought I you thought you were real. For me, man. I thought like, you were really from an. Uh, I thought you lived in a volcano. Yeah, it's like now you're really fucking up the game because now you're. Oh hey, Daryl. Yeah, you're asking. You're, yeah, I'm just a bitch in glasses. Yeah, it's like dog. Now you're asking find me because I got a website. So like, if I do something too crazy. I can be found. Like, that's what I'm realizing. <laughs> I, I remember I was fucking Daryl Wright with a strap on. He got poop on it. LOL. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. And it's like, uh, no, realizing you have shit to lose is really weird in life, yeah. man. Because it's like, the other day, I was going to whip this 16, I was going to change this 16-year-old's life, dog. I was, I was <laughs> I'm, I'm not the lottery, but I was going to change his life. Like, he was going to have to walk with a limp or fucking have his head bashed in. Because it's like, I'm noticing in Los Angeles... Gangs have fucked up the game as far as young kids knowing that it's consequences to your actions. Like, when you got 200 motherfuckers that's going to back whatever play that you make. Like, back when I grew up, it was like four of us. And sometimes we was like solo deep, and that's it. Where'd you grow up? D.C. That's right. So it's like, it's one of those things. Chocolate where like, City, Hell home of yeah, Bad baby. Brains. Oh, rest in peace, Chuck Brown. Chuck Brown and the Soul Seekers. Hell yeah, Soul baby. Searchers? The soul perfect. Searchers. Damn, I knew I blew it the second it came out of my mouth. But it's like, dog. So that's this dude, go-go music is from DC. Hell yeah, baby! I'm with you, Chuck Brown. That's what it is, dog. Doing the butt. That's what all of y'all know, but I know go-go that's tight, like just off the hook. But this dude is up at Universal Studios, up at John Lovitz's club. And he's outside and he's fucking with another young boy. I don't give a fuck about that. That's they shit. But he throws a soda at him, and the soda gets on my pants, right? And I'm like, "Excuse me, player, can you like?" And he and it's him and like a bunch of young boys, like about eight of them or whatever, fucking with this one dude. And uh, they throw a soda at him, and the soda hits my leg, and it gets soda on me. And I'm like, excuse me, player, ain't you going to say something? Fuck you. Your ass can get some, too. I'm like, look here, playboy. For real. Check this out. It's 80 of y'all, but I'm going to fuck up three of y'all. Y'all going y'all gonna to get me, of course. It's 80 of y'all. But you, you got to pick which three of y'all is going to get really fucked up. Because I'm a felon. I'm not going to hit you once. I'm going to cripple you. I'm going to hurt you because if I'm going to go to jail again, I might as well get my money's worth. So y'all about to get really, I'm, I'm about to change your life. Mama's going to have to get some shit printed out <laughs> and put it on the pews. And somebody's going to have to do some physical therapy when I fuck you up. For real. So basically. Call the coroner. Going to be a no, lot of slow singing and flower bringing. I'm going to get three Wright's of them. Burglar alarm starts Jay, ringing. I'm going to get three of them. Right. The other five are going to fuck me up. Even if you just get one. Fuck it. Just but hold on to that guy's neck and I'm let everybody kick the up. shit no, out I'm of you. I'm really, and so All right. the funny part was. So how did you get out of that without doing they, it? Because they didn't do shit. Oh, you they scared They couldn't them. pick out three of them. <laughs> that I don't, I don't life really, change. All right, Daryl, but in all fairness, I don't think they took a poll and fucking said, raise you your can, hand if you want to be one of the three guys he fucks up. You can, But you can <laughs> mentally see that poll because they're looking at each, each other because the first three dudes to come at me getting fucked up. Right. So, you gotta, so it, it, it's got to be three of them that make the first move. Nobody did. So that means that they did take a vote and they were like, you know what's better than that? Sorry, brother. Okay, cool. Have a nice night, youngsters. That's the end. Yeah, we're going to Tony Roma's, man. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, cool. Are you lucky we're going to Tony Roma's, punk? I'll, I will be that. Thank you for going to Tony Roma's, I'll fellas. be that. Yeah, I'll be that, dog. That's so you leave the S&M club. I mean, what's the guy that's it? Because S&M has fascinated me for all the wrong reasons. I don't find it sexy. It doesn't turn me on. And I, I, if it's your thing, God bless you. But to me, I've always, like, when guys get the shit kicked out of them, get their ball stepped on and lick a lady's boot, I always assumed that ends with having sex, but it doesn't. No. The real diehard S&M no. people, like, you're lucky to lick my fucking boot and I'll get in your car and go home. Yeah. And you're like, well, what the fuck was that? I didn't even ejaculate. So but that guy in that dog do. cage. They actually that, do. So that guy in a dog cage with a gas mask, at some point, just sitting there, he goes, oh, oh, yeah. and it just flows out of him. Yeah, because it's like, I don't, I don't, you know what? I was open-minded enough to go. Yeah. I don't get it, but I ain't going to knock their hustle. But no, I'm I, not knocking the hustle. But 
I like think that his bitch is screaming at him in the dog cage, like you ain't you ain't shit, and he gets off like that, like oh, tell and me that, I'll, yeah, tell me that I'm a pedophile again, or just something stupid like that, just downgrading the motherfucker, and that turns him on. Like normally, it's powerful my motherfuckers that aren't used to hearing no, and they go to S and M so they can hear no, because like say it's the I'm not saying it is. Let's say it's the head of ABC. He got niggas kissing his ass all day. That gets boring. <laughs> so you pay some bitch to get high heels and step on your nuts so you can live again. Because you ain't used to nobody <laughs> saying no. That's what I'm just guessing. You I know think you're like, right. I'm laughing because I think you're Cause right. Because there's no broke motherfuckers there, dog. It ain't no It ain't no just random motherfuckers. That, that fucking leather costs money, nigga. Like, that's a... <laughs> That's like uh, Persian leather shit that they wear with the spikes on, dog. That ain't no Kmart. Like, they don't sell S&M shit at Kmart. So, obviously, it costs money. I don't even know where to buy that shit at because it's probably so expensive. You know what? There's your sponsor for the right turn. Hmm? There's your new sponsor Fuck. for the right. Whoever's selling the fucking S and M leather, dog, holler at Daryl Wright at I the will, right turn. I will at pump the right your turn. shit. I will pump your shit. Like I don't necessarily wear this shit, but when I do, <laughs> I go to Harry's Leather Emporium. <laughs> spikes are not charged extra to put the spikes on your shit. Wow. See us at dog. That's beautiful, isn't it? I think yeah, you need you need an S and M company to sponsor. The right term. It's, but there's an underscore. I want to get the address right. There's an I'll underscore. I rock a gas mask, dog. Ain't no thing. I don't give a fuck. I don't got a face for TV. No way. I'll, I'll, the whole podcast I'll sounds this, like you're in a gas mask. I'll do this whole... I'll, I will do my whole podcast in the... That's, that's what's going on. If somebody sends me a gas mask, I will do my whole podcast in that motherfucker. I don't care. That's going to be called the Danny Sparks Hour. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk through a gas mask, I think. Can I? Oh, uh, sure. But he I mean, could. Well, they had to unzip... The fucking thing for him to say something. What? I don't know any gas masks with zippers. But no, his had a zipper. Maybe no, that's, it, maybe it that's why the, the Kurds lost against Saddam. Their fucking gas mask had zippers for mouths. <laughs> no, because he had the two big eyes, but they unzipped his shit for him to say hi. Oh, that's like a special S&M mask. That ain't a oh, gas mask. Oh, that's not a gas yeah, mask. I'm thinking like the kind you wear in the army for like a oh, chemical no, no, attack. Oh, no, no, no. Well, because it, it had the two big eyes, and then when he wanted to Sometimes eyes, they, they got no zipper. eyes, and there's zippers for eyes, too. I saw a couple of those. Yeah, there's something I saw like on Real Sex where like the whole thing is about being suffocated. Like they put a motherfucker like in a rubber mattress and zip that shit up, and they just give him a little air at a time. I'm like, I choke bitches while I'm fucking, but I don't think that's <laughs> not I thought, literally to death. I bro. thought, y'all I thought, no, not, I, not me, him. I didn't say shit. I thought when you were a felon, you lost the right to choke someone during sex. You can't vote, and you're no longer allowed to spit, slap, spank, or choke during intercourse. Well, I've violated parole a lot lately then. Fuck that shit. I'm choking. I think if I was a felon, I would make love with my hands behind my back at all times. Like, no one's going to say I put a finger. Like, there's not a woman alive that's going to be like, he hit me. Fuck that. I would wear fucking flex cuffs I had to bed. On, look, I had on handcuffs the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I would wear flex cuffs to bed. <laughs> I would have special pajamas made where my no. hands are behind my back where the, where the cops would go, she's obviously a liar because he's got his flex cuff pajamas. <laughs> flex cuff pajamas. No, it's like, but I don't know about that suffocation shit, but choking is fucking cool, I guess. I don't know. And then I mean, you wind up in a fucking funeral home and they'll go, how did he die? Well, there was this girl at an S&M club getting whipped. And when she was free, she met him in a parking lot. And while they were having sex... He let her choke him, and he died. I, I didn't say I, I let bitches choke me. That's I'm creepy. I'm saying in a hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting choked. Are you crazy? I don't like nothing around my neck, hey, especially around my neck, motherfuckers. That's history. Except Fuck a that fat shit. gold chain because you're housing. I don't wear gold chains because all of mine fucking <laughs> were cheap as shit. <laughs> you ever seen one of those heron bones? And so the nigga has to. It's almost like a permanent ta- ta- tattoo of yo. Of like your shit that. was fucking fake, and it's like it's not green, but it's like almost. It's, it's off green. Yeah, it's off green, and it's like oh, it's like, that was my. It's taste. like rose gold, but it ain't rose gold. Yeah, it's like oh god, it's carnation gold. Mm. Hey, with your busy schedule, I'm sure you can barely get away from your desk. So making trips to the post office is the last thing you have time for. I know a better way. Stamps.com. Buy and print official U.S. postage right from your own computer and printer. Easy and convenient. Plus. Stamps.com will give you a digital scale, automatically calculates the exact postage you need for any letter or package. 
print the postage directly onto envelopes, labels, even plain paper. Then just hand your mail to your mail carrier. When I say you will never have to go to the post office again, I really mean it. Right now, Stamps.com has a special offer for my listeners. Use my last name, Moore, M-O-H-R, for a no-risk trial, plus $110 bonus offer. Includes the digital scale and up to $55 free postage. Don't wait. Go to Stamps.com before you do anything else. Click on the radio microphone at the top of the homepage and type in Moore, M-O-H-R. That's Stamps.com. Enter Moore. You been to any funerals lately? I wish I had that when I was selling dope. That would have been awesome. Hey, if you buy dope, you get your, oh, the digital scale? Yeah, no, that would have been awesome. And just don't got to go to the post office to send your fucking Coke across the country. That would have been fucking sweet. Oh, funerals? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, well, well, not lately. Well, Jay knows this story about me and a friend of mine I started comedy with in Texas. Like, uh, his uncle died. His, his by getting name? choked by a dominatrix. No, not necessarily by George that. Carlin took off a gas mask and choked his kid's uncle. Possibly. I, I wasn't at the actual death. I'm really hung up be, on how happy George Carlin would be to if hear people story. were at a tribute concert for him and the next night in a stockade getting their asses whipped. I like, think he would have fucking been I'm happy not kidding. He'd be thrilled. Been what's more counterculture than that? You give a little money to the economy and then you go get spanked. Dog is fucking cool. Fuck Tucker. Tucker sucks. <laughs> Because to me, you're just a bitch with glasses. You're just a bitch with glasses, though. Uh, and you're down to three commandments right there. <laughs> it's, just, it's a bitch with glasses. It's three commandments. That's funny. They, they, they actually played that bit. Really? Fuck, yeah, they actually played that one. That was awesome. But no, I I was at, at this funeral with a, a friend of mine. His name is Quint Hatch. And we started comedy together. And we were in Texas. And we were coming back from a gig. Just starting comedy. His uncle dies. So we don't. we were coming from Dallas or somewhere over Dallas, and we had to get back to San Antonio. So we didn't have time to go all the way back to San Antonio, drop me off, and then him come back to Dallas. So we went to the funeral on the way back to San Antonio. Now, he's telling me the whole time. He, he, he doesn't tell me shit, by the way, until we get to the funeral. Oh, yeah. Quentin Hatch? Quentin Hatch, yeah. Okay. He was on the first season of The Last Comic Standing. Yeah. Yeah. That's who I started comedy with, right? Yeah. So uh, he, we, we get to the funeral... We're both about to walk into church. He's like, oh, yeah, by the way, my family doesn't really like black people, so you're not going to be able to come in here. And I'm like, why wouldn't you tell me that? It's a fucking dead body got in. How can I not get in? Excuse me. It's a church, too. I can't even come into church with all these white people. He's like, dog, they hate black people, so could you just wait in the car? I'm like, eh, fuck it. I got some something to drink. So what I did is I hopped in, in the back of the car and I put a sheet over me so his family wouldn't even see me walk in as they walked into the church. Right. Right. They just think there's a person with a sheet over their head in the car. Well, if you look in the car <laughs> that fucking hard, I guess Doesn't you're trying to steal air? it. It's like yeah. nobody's going to look at it that hard. So I'm like, all right, cool. That's when you're young, dumb, and drunk. I'm like, fuck it. So he goes into the church, right? He's sitting there. It's hot as shit in Texas, too, by the way. Yeah. So... I'm, so I, I start moving around. So one of his relatives, I guess, must have seen me moving around in the back of the car. So first thing is like, um, somebody left a dog in the back of their car. And they're like, what's the car? And they tell him what the car is. And so Quint has to run out of the church to go to his car and tell me to stop moving because somebody thinks that they left a dog in the car. So he winds the window down like I'm a, like I'm a fucking dog anyway to let some air in this bitch. <laughs> Runs back into the church, right? They're sitting down. Service is going on. Because his, his uncle died and his grandmother's up front. She's crying. This black lady walks in, right? And everybody turns around. And the black lady just walks, through the, walks all the way up to, to the casket, gives his uncle a kiss on, on the cheek, walks up to his grandmother, his grandmother gives her a big hug, and she sits next to her grandmother the whole service. And Quint's sitting here the whole time like, what the fuck is going on? So he's asking his, his other relatives, like, who the fuck is the black lady? And they're like, didn't you know your uncle was dating a black lady? He's like, so y'all let somebody black come in here? And they're like, of course. He's like, fuck it. I got one of them out in the car. Why, did, why, why didn't y'all tell me? I'd have brought one. I got a black guy in the car. Dog, it, you know who that black lady was? That was his girlfriend. His George uncle Carlin. <laughs> he was. He's preparing for the Clumps Three. <laughs> yeah, was, the black lady was George Carlin. This is a half portion. 
Oh my god! So did you get to go to the funeral? And that you, no, but hold on, real quick. The the sad thing about this whole story is the prize is you get to go to a funeral. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you win. You know what? I straightened everything out. So Come you, look at a dead guy. Yeah, that's the that's the prize of this whole thing. No, but actually they had air conditioning in the fucking church. So oh, that's the prize. I get to win for real. Oh, I was just in Dallas. Uh, I was just in Dallas a couple weeks ago. That was weird, dog. Have you noticed that the rest of the country taps out really early? Yes. Like, motherfuckers get married. And I don't even... Shit, dog. I don't need... Oh, taps... I thought you meant, like, they, they go home for the night. Well, that... Well, <laughs> they that roll too. up the side... And the entire world... I, you know, being in Manhattan for most of my life... Right. And in L.A. for the 